All right, I'm definitely feeling under the weather and I think my phone is too because I've been filming some things and weird things are happening, but I'm gonna make my bed, wash my hair, and then we're gonna tackle this closet and talk about what I have as a minimalist with my clothes. Okay, I'm back, let's get started. First, I wanna say that this is a t-shirt that I have for work, but it's only gonna get worn for one week every couple years. So I first was going to declutter it, and then I saw another YouTuber that uses a t-shirt in their hair after they get out of the shower. So I started doing that with that, and that allows me to keep the shirt so that I have it every time but it's still getting used and not just sitting around. Second, I have my robe. I borrowed it from my mom. When I moved in with my friend, I'm like, hey, I don't have a robe anymore and I really need one. Do you have one I can borrow? So I do plan to get my own robe at some point, but at this point, she wasn't using it. Here I am with that. So let's dive into the closet. These are all my clean clothes. Then I have my drawer because I do not use drawers anymore. This is my hanging drawer. And then these clothes are things I wear all the time. My coats. And then I have my clothes turned backwards that I've worn once or twice or however many times I've worn them, but I still feel like they're not dirty enough to wash. So I hang them there. And then I have a work uniform, a hat, a t-shirt, a bra, and jeans all in one hanger that I wear specifically to that job. I have one pair of nice jeans, one nice t-shirt, a nice kimono. So we'll talk about nice clothes. An over shirt that I consider nice because I do like that style and a tank top and that is it for my nice clothes. I do have two pairs of jeans back here. This is the exact same pair I already have but one size down. So as soon as I get a little bit smaller I'm going to replace that other pair with these. These I actually like a lot more, and though they're the same exact size as these, they fit a lot tighter. So eventually I hope to just have this single pair. I have a dress my mother made me. I have a jumpsuit that is too small and it's gorgeous. I'm not gonna get it out. We'll talk about that maybe when it fits me. Two tank tops that are a little too tight. So I absolutely love them. They spark immense joy. I will definitely keep those um, and try to lose some weight this year. A winter coat that I bought a couple years ago and now it does not zip up. So if it doesn't fit by next season, it's gone, but it should. And then we have some camping gear. Hiking, I love backpacking. I have a cold gear down vest, two pairs of identical jeans, a flannel shirt. I had two, but I got rid of the other one, so I will replace that at some point. Two cold gear long sleeve shirts, three base layer shirts that I also wear to work out at the gym. These were the nice clothes. I basically just wear these leggings all the time. I do have a second pair that's one size down from these and depending on how I feel that day, I'll either wear the smaller pair or the bigger pair and eventually I hope to totally be out of the bigger pair. Okay, I have several work items. These are all things from a different job I have that have their logo on them. So it's turned inside out so that I'm not sharing that online. But these are all items that if I no longer worked at that place, I wouldn't wear anymore. So we have a um, sports jacket that zips, a crew neck, a long sleeve, two regular t-shirts, and then two v-neck t-shirts. I did get the v-necks recently because I requested to not have regular. I might try to turn these into some sort of tank top, the regular ones, um, but I definitely don't need four shirts. All right, I have one single pair of shorts. I wear these under my sweatpants or lounge or pajamas, a long sleeve lightweight shirt that I wear as pajamas and around the house. Um, I used to wear it out in public. Doesn't look as good as it did when I first got it. This shirt 
has a bunch of holes in it. Long story short, I got a lot of my clothes damaged at a laundromat, and that's the only piece I still own of it. I did some sewing around certain parts, but eventually I would like to replace both of these. One bra, besides the one I have for my other job, I had two, and I would eventually like to get two again. This houses, socks, underwear. Here we have uh, just a sweatshirt. I like to be cozy and sweatpants. So here I have my winter coat for this year. My parents gave it to me. They got it from someone a long time ago. And I've had it with all my survival camping type stuff. When I did a recent declutter, I decided I don't have a coat that fits me. So I should try this one out and either declutter it or wear it. So I actually am really, really enjoying this. I have pockets on both of the breast pieces. It has my gloves and the hand warmers, um, one on each side. And then the secondary pockets, I have like a hat and I have a scarf in the other one. So I really like that a lot. And then I have a packable raincoat, a swimsuit. I have those pair of leggings that I said were too small. Let's get started with my hanging drawer. We have two pairs of underwear. I actually own three pairs of underwear when my clothes got ruined at the laundromat and everything had holes. I realized as I was hand washing everything that I only needed two pairs of underwear. So I have three because of it's my backup. So I have three pairs of underwear. I have one hiking sock liner, two hiking socks, three comfy socks, and then three athletic socks. Now, this is what I'm keeping in my current stock. I have decided to divide my wardrobe up as these are the least amount I feel like I need at a time. And if I wear the same sock over and over again, it will more likely get holes in it faster. So I'm keeping these three socks in my current wardrobe until they get a hole. And then I will go to my extras tote. I have extra hiking socks, three pairs of underwear that are one size smaller than what I currently am in. These are all of the extra socks that are regular, like athletic ones. And this is kind of like, I need to go shopping. Here they are. These are giant, <laughs> giant. They were my dad's. I really only use these if I'm freezing like, and put them on top of my other socks, like at night, or if I roll my ankle and need to put an ice pack on, I put this over top of the ice pack because it helps hold it in and keeps my foot a little warmer. This is a gymnastics leotard and shorts because when I am more fit I like to do that as a workout. These are all black milk items that I am too big for at the moment but I have four pairs of leggings and I know I have four swimsuits. I put my two pairs of fuzzy socks in my nightstand with some lotion because in the winter I get super dry and I will sleep with a pair of socks on my hands and I will sleep with a pair of socks on my feet occasionally. Okay, here's the result. I just finished up the tally on a spreadsheet and we will see how many items of clothes I own as a minimalist. Ninety six. Ninety six clothes as a minimalist. Wow. I'm actually pretty shocked that I still own ninety six items of clothing, not including any accessories or shoes. I did declutter four times that amount, if not more. I used to have um so many more items and I've been decluttering like crazy. Um, I guess my hang up is, is that I'm still keeping some clothes. Like I call my store if I'm running low on socks. I didn't want to just get rid of my socks and have to buy new. I decided to keep them all. The other thing is I have a lot of clothes still that don't fit, but I would like to try to get back in them at some point. I mean, I did declutter a lot that didn't fit previously, but yeah, 96 items just in clothing. That's where I'm at.